the wheels Cause on, on the, the bus, bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, 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 round the wheels we on the bus go round and round <laughs> all the Welcome to our daily vlogs. I think I tricked myself into, you know, the boys are going to school. I have all these morning hours. So instead of just being like, you know, having the time off or whatever, it's like I've jam packed my hours into gymnastics and different activities. We went to the library. We went uh, just little things everywhere today i'm going to the church i gotta get tax letters done um and yeah it's just also i've been like cleaning like crazy because i can finally like go upstairs during you know the day and clean because i don't have to watch the boys because they're at school so it's kind of just opened more doors but it also has made me busier um so, I'm extra tired. Also, I've been waking up at 6 a.m., uh, which is definitely a new schedule for me and the kids. Um, so, I gotta wake up at 6 a.m. to make lunches and all that stuff. Um, the kids don't, or Madison's been waking up at 6.30, and I get the boys up at 7.45, because they gotta leave at 8.45. Um, but yeah, 6 a.m. is, that's tiring. <laughs> Um, and I know most people do it anyways for work, <laughs> um, but being a stay-at-home mom, <laughs> I was waking up at 8 and then getting all the kids up and stuff by 8.30, so to change to 6 is like shocking. <laughs> shocking on my whole system. <laughs> so lots of coffee and that, and also we're fasting too, so it's like that energy is drained and it's just... <sighs> a lot of stuff happening all at once so here's the kids doing their morning thing as usual boys are in their Mario outfits Madison's ready I gotta get, I gotta do it right here and then I gotta get the boys shoes and jackets on it's only eight so we still have 45 minutes so but we're all ready to go as soon as they get on the bus we're gonna get in the car because we gotta go all the way to the church, which is 30 minutes away, and then I gotta leave at 11, and you know, to have time to pick up Jackson from school, so I can only stay there two hours, and I have to print all of the tax letters for donations and different things, so. <sighs> it's crazy, <laughs> crazy around here. <laughs> the old man is snoring. Look at the rain. Wow. The old man is gone. He died out of bed. He wasn't in the and he turned it up in the morning. Okay, so Reagan gets out at one today. It's half days on Wednesdays for her, and it's like super rainy right now outside. And I gotta go get her the in rain the rain. Is awesome. Yeah, it's fun when we're inside, but when we're outside, it's like oh. Yeah. Um, and then on my way to Vallejo, uh, the school, the boys at school called me and I guess Lincoln had, uh, he, when he gets mad he hits his head on stuff and he hit his, his head really hard on like one of the door frames in the class so the school had to call me um, as just like a courtesy call saying he did it but uh, fortunately they let him stay at school because he didn't cry or anything, he just banged his head. Um, so that's really good that they still kept him there because he bangs his head all the time and I know that I would be picking him up like every day if they sent him home for banging his head. Um, so that's really good, Jackson. <laughs> so that's really good that they, you know, work with him and so yeah. But that was my first call from, from, uh, from the school and he didn't want to go on the bus this morning at all. He was like screaming. So. So yeah, Lincoln has a little bit of anxiety separation. But we okay, gotta go get Reagan now. Go Daxi, go Daxi, go Daxi. Whoa, whoa. 
So we got the boys bunk beds and we got it over the weekend um, and Wesley put them together and we filmed the boys going into the room and checking out their new bunk beds and like the reaction that they got. Uh, so I'm gonna insert that clip right here. Okay, we just got done putting the boys' bed together. They got a slide with Mario sheets and this is their snuggle sheets and all these new pillowcases. So now here's a reaction. Here we go. Are the boys there? <gasps> Oh, he loves that bottom bunk seat. <laughs> Yay! Look at his face, it's priceless. Wow! He's like, hurry up, brother, I'm trying to get in. Oh, you have woody pillowcases too? That's I cool. just took the toddler ones out and used them, used oh, pillowcases. Wow! You can do it, Papa. Go ahead, Lincoln. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! How cool! That's awesome! The reason we got in bunk beds is because they were throwing in the toddler beds and because uh, they were just super light. So we had to get rid of the toddler beds and we put a big bunk bed and uh, belted it to the wall. Um, and then that way, you know, they can't flip that over. And then we got twin size mattresses, which are pretty heavy. And so they haven't been able to flip those over either. So I think we're good on furniture in there. <laughs> um, so yeah, they just like to kind of destroy everything and kind of flip everything over so I think at least for now uh, we're okay until they get older and they can start flipping heavier stuff. <laughs> Hopefully we stop that bad habit before then. <laughs> Say nose. No. Good job. Ears. Yeah. Yeah. Say head. Say head. Eyes. How about eyes? Eyes. Where's your eyes? Okay. Say eyes. Hey, Yeah. Yeah. Lincoln, say eyes. Eyes. Yeah. Ear. Where's ear? Ears. No. Teeth. No. Say eyes. No. Teeth. Harrison, look. <laughs> That's like, come do the two. Here, do this. gonna do right now um, for no we're gonna give the babies a bath and then we're gonna play on the slide in their room because they got a new bunk bed and then me and you are gonna practice baseball yep we're gonna set the tee up and mass is gonna take a couple swings at the tea. We're gonna play before bedtime.
these are their lights in the bedroom. Help them relax. Cheese. Cheese. Night night. Night night. All right. Cheese.